what's up guys and welcome to another go to wins video so as you finally saw this will be the final version of paradox and he will be available in you get wins as a playful character so let's move on to dual world real quick the first version of dual monster world and let's check the event page and see what are the requirements and the contents real quick so bonds beyond time paradox versus the tree legendary duelist Okay, get a new UR card, Garden the Mechanical Monstrosity, let's check the effects real quick. So it's a machine effect monster at level 1. Once per turn during the main phase, check the difference between the current and original attack of each monster on the field. Add up the total of each of those differences and make this monster original attack become that combined amount until the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, so this is actually a pretty interesting card overall. So let's say this is basically a good second turn or more card where your opponent actually has effects that increases their attack points or you have something done that actually decreases their attack points for example like minimize and also wall disruption that way you can take all the all the differences in attack versus the original attack points and add it to this monster instead. So this basically will add last until the, the end of your opponent's next turn. Meaning this, you'll have a level 1 monster with a, with a slightly higher attack point overall. Let's say most probably around 2-3 to thousand attack points overall, but at 0 defense. So that's one of the few things you gotta watch out for. Just in case your opponent has a win of, of a Taqua, essentially turn this monster to defense position and basically clear the board. So you can basically bring this monster up using the magnetic circle which special summons a level 2 or lower machine type monster from your hand. That way you can activate the effect and also not affect any of the normal summon. Or you can also play pendulum summoning where the scale is at 0 which basically can be found so far if I remember correctly it is only for the abyss actors which is so far available. Next up for the next upcoming event it flow, collect paradox mask. Basically duel him at the gate and also get these event exclusive cards. So you can only obtain Paradox as a legendary duelist and a playable one in that after the 28th of August at 1pm. So when you do obtain this character, you also have the chance to obtain the trap card Imprudent Intrusion. So your life points must be lower than your opponents to activate and resolve this effect. Activate one of these effects. Destroy your monster, your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to the difference in life points. Or special summon a monster from your graveyard with attack less than or equal to the difference in life points. So this card is actually quite useful in certain scenarios. For example, for the Z4 in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, you do know that Yuma and Astro they have the Zexel form. Not to mention Shark also has the effect where you want to bring out the Chaos number Shark Drake. You can you have to cut your life points down to basically 1000 and that way you can activate this trap card to bring out monsters that are already in the graveyard essentially giving you the edge of filling up your board not to mention having more monsters to access into is a pretty good strategy overall but if you're using it in a consistent on a basic on the basic level or inside a deck this card is good to have especially if your monsters are basically those of which are at certain amount of attack points such as a thousand or two thousand or so. So with your life points being lower than your opponent, you can activate this. You can activate this trap card. So basically, but the one of the best the cyclone that basically cuts your life points to one thousand life points to banish a card, a spell or trap card in your opponent's side of the field. You can essentially activate this trap card once you manage to do that, and that's one of the few combos you can go for aside along with Master of Fusion. So cards from the previous events such as Megamorph is also available along with Fringer's Portrait and also Revenge Rally. So these few cards from the previous event are definitely going to be a prismatic print. And let's check out the main main page and the middle of the page right there. Alrighty, let's go. So it's a raid boss duel and also for the cumulative reward as you can see, you stand a chance to obtain a Trihorn Dragon as well as a few other effect cards like Revenge Rally, a prismatic copy overall. And once you manage to do so, you can basically go along these points. As I mentioned, as a raid boss, you will also be ranked based on how much damage you are able to inflict on Paradox himself. So with that being the case, let's switch to UV real quick. I'll show you no mercy. And as per usual, since we will be playing as UV, we are definitely going to go for a Dark Magician deck. So let's go to that real quick. 
and commence with our duel. My left with claw stream. Okay, just one of the monsters. Alright, come on. And now let's see what Paradise is made out of at level 200. Ancient Rules and Dark Magician, just like the anime. Come on. I skipped the animation, so we are pretty much pressed for time. Dark Magician Girl is brought onto the field as well. This is actually basically following like the traits in the anime in the movie itself. So now let's go. And as per usual, if you are dueling against this kind of legendary duelist, there are EX draws, kind of big draw and summon event exclusive items you can use during this raid boss duel. Not to mention, you can use extra life and extra card. However, result boosters and EXP booster are not available for this event. So that's one thing you are you gotta be worried about. Not to mention, as per usual for raid boss duels, you also have a time limit, which is a, basically a 5 turn time limit and you gotta defeat the raid boss as fast as you can. And normally there are certain cards you can use to essentially deal double or it's even triple the amount duel. of damage to your opponent not to essentially you, win the duel. duel. I know everything that bear witness to this. Appear. I a level 200. <laughs> Alright, you bring up three right monsters, turn. that's fine. My turn. It's your I draw turn. a card. Let's do this. Magician's Rod. My, my monster's effect activates. Let's get Magician's Navigation from the deck in Japan. We'll activate our Dark from Magic hand, Circle. I activate a so we'll be spell. checking the top three cards. That designated card of Dark Magic Expanded. And putting Mahat on the top card. And with that, we're just gonna set our Magician's set Navigation face down. Face down. And go for I battle. Let's battle. Let's battle. Let's do that. My monster attacks. That won't My turn I know gone. everything that your eye draws. Appear. Okay. Let's go ahead. Vanish. Destroy the monster. I do not mind. I attack. This vanish. is far from over. My monster ah. attacks you it's directly. Not over yet. I end my turn. And now my for turn. our turn, we draw it's into Mahar. Special summon my Mahat. I'm counting on you. I and with this monster being monster. a normal monster, and not to mention Mahat's attack points double, upon battling a dark I type a attribute monster, monster you can battle. essentially just do this. Here we go. I attack with a monster. Ooh. Playtime is over. Ah. I attack with a monster. My me. turn is there, It's actually a, if I had much in Dark Magician, I can essentially do much more damage. <laughs> But right now, this is the best we got. My turn. There's no need to hesitate. Okay, let's normal summon our guy at Fierce Knight. Here I go. I summon and a monster in attack summon position. into Ebon Illusion, which is. I exceed summon a monster. I exceed summon Ebon Illusion Magician. Then activate Ebon Illusion Magician. Detach a material to bring out one of our Dark Magicians. Let's bring out the Dark Magician to snap the version real quick. Dark Magic of Circle's effect activates spell. banishing this monster. Time and now we attack. Here we First go. with our Ebon. I attack your life once directly! Ah! Here then we go. Mahat. This must be a My monster attacks your life points directly. You go, and Dark, Dark magician. magician. Dark magic attack. Ah! One point five. Ah! So the next shit is definitely this. gonna be it. Order. I'll play this. Okay. I summon a monster. I end Here my I turn. Go. It's turn. your turn. I draw a card. Let's double our Let's attack back. points Here real quick. Go. I attack with a monster. Ah! Increase our Dark Magician's attack points on. even more. I activate a quick so 500. Spell. Just a bit hand. more. I activate 4, a 500. Spell. And finally, the Go, final hit. Dark magician. Are you 
saying that my analysis is wrong. It's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. And that's the first duel against Paradox. I gotta say, I kind of broke kind of a little bit there and made uh, some wrong decisions while using this deck as well. So, raid complete. And the damage rank has gone up to B. So, by dueling against Paradox as well, you can also participate in assist duels, which are essentially free. And you can assist other like other duelists worldwide in defeating this paradox of a character, and basically increase your amount of points in the cumulative reward system as well. And by defeating the raid boss, once you obtain the ES draw and summons, and also you can slowly increase your EX duels that you can exchange at the card trader EX by participating in duels and also obtaining them to obtain them via dueling against paradox. So he's only available to be unlocked on the 20th of August, which is essentially 3 days from now. And I hope you guys are gonna participate in this because this is an event exclusive character which everyone has been waiting for a long time. Also, with that being in point, there's also a possibility that, that we might get a new Malefic card soon in the future. Anyways, also a quick info information that I want to make announce. Which is essentially, we already have a new trap card being added to our inventory, and that card is Scrap Iron Scarecrow. So this only limited at 1, and it is a great card for those of you who are playing a trap deck, especially those kind of trap hell decks that essentially inflict a lot of, a lot of uh, burn damage, especially for Odeon. So this is a must have to pick up, not to mention, slowly we are seeing New Year Duel Links develop into a much more much more, uh, let's just say, competitive and much more damage reliant and also combo heavy kind of, kind of playstyle. And soon we'll be also adding to a repertoire of much wider characters in this game and let's hope that we will be able to advance as well. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. So remember, 28th of August, Paradox is available to be unlocked. Not to mention participate in the raid duels as much as you can to increase your cumulative points as well as your EX jewels at the card trader EX right there. So you can use it to exchange for certain cards, especially for the for the past card as well as your imprudent imprudent intrusion. Whereas only for Darton the mechanical monstrosity is only obtainable by dueling against Paradox as your rate rewards. So anyways that's it, goodbye and sorry for for uh, being a long as being uh, talking for such a long time on this video and I hope to see you next time when we finally unlock Paradox as well as using much more characters all the way. So goodbye, stay safe and see ya.